Thank you so much for being here. And we're talking about how we can lower our cholesterol levels and we can do it without taking medicine. Yes, thank you very much for having me, Maggie. It is important for everybody to understand that you shouldn't stop taking your medicine right. in order to be able to help lower your cholesterol a little bit more with your diet. Everybody knows that cholesterol is responsible for hardening of the arteries, the plaque buildup that causes heart attacks and strokes and things like that. And right. We should all try to improve our diets to try to help our body naturally lower our cholesterol level. And there are certain foods that you can eat on a regular basis that will help you lower your cholesterol and sometimes even help you get a hard to control cholesterol with medicine down even farther. So. The uh, things that we have here in the bucket can all help you lower your cholesterol naturally and help you improve your lifestyle, of course, and, and a healthy diet also helps reduce your risk of having heart attack and strokes and so forth. This is rhubarb. Okay. And, uh, and I haven't our, heard of rhubarb in so long. My grandmother always yeah. talked about rhubarb. I haven't heard of it in A lot years. of people used to make rhubarb pie That's in right. home economics. That was the first thing we made in eighth grade was <laughs> rhubarb pie. But exactly. It's kind of like celery. And rhubarb is actually quite interesting because it can help you lower your cholesterol very much, almost 10%. Uh, National Institutes of Health study has shown that if you eat about one ounce of rhubarb every day, you can lower your cholesterol by 9%. That's both the, mostly the low density lipoprotein cholesterol or your bad cholesterol, and it does not have an impact on your good cholesterol, so that's very good as well. Exactly. Rhubarb is a really good thing to chop up on your salad every day if you have a salad. Take the place and of celery. And you can just eat it raw. You don't have to cook it. You can it. eat it raw. The most important thing is don't eat the leaves because the leaves have something that will make you very sick. Okay. But just eat the stalks. Remember that. Okay. Yes. Artichokes. Artichokes. Artichokes are such a fantastic uh, source of antioxidants and vitamins and minerals if they're prepared correctly. Similar to rhubarb, they can lower your cholesterol a significant amount if you eat the artichokes if they're properly prepared. Now, we got to caution people, a lot of people like to eat artichokes with a lot of mayonnaise or comeback sauce or something like that. And I just like the artichoke hearts. <laughs> if you love the artichokes, then fresh artichokes are a great way to reduce your cholesterol. It lowers your cholesterol about 10% if you eat them on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Mostly the LDL cholesterol or the bad cholesterol will come down. Your HDL or your good cholesterol will stay up. Great source of vitamins and minerals too. And I see the garlic there. Garlic. Uh, uh, garlic is good for a lot of things. And one of the things that it does is it kind of reduces the amount of plaque buildup or hardening of the arteries that you have in your arteries. But it is also a very good way to reduce your cholesterol. The thing about garlic that you have to realize, though, is that it's a temporary effect. And you have to eat the garlic just about every other day to be able to show some sort of a reduction in your cholesterol level. Are garlic pills just as effective or is it more important to eat the, well, the raw garlic? I always say that fresh things are the most effective because they have natural enzymes and natural vitamins and minerals that help you accomplish the task. If you have to take garlic pills, those are fine, but fresh garlic is the best thing for you. Now I'm surprised to see the wine here. Wine, red wine. Red wine is a great way to reduce your cholesterol. It should be noted, though, that you should only have one per day. One glass, not one bottle. <laughs> yeah, we need, and then, and, and a small glass, not a, a large a four glass. Four ounce glass of okay. wine every day is just fine. Yeah, don't get one of the big uh, tumblers. tumblers. Yes, no, and, yeah, and have, that, yeah. that's not what we need, right? No, ma'am. We okay. got it in moderation with everything, for sure. <laughs> exactly. Now, what do we have here? Is this cereal? This is oat cereal. Oatmeal is also a very good uh, source of fiber, dietary fiber. The more fiber you eat, the fiber helps your uh, digestive system, and it also keeps you from absorbing the cholesterol that comes from the food that you eat. So if you want to try to reduce your cholesterol by not absorbing the cholesterol in your food, eat about two-thirds of a cup of oats every day. Oatmeal is the best way because you can, uh, it doesn't have a lot of sugar on it, but uh, two-thirds of a cup of oats will help you reduce your cholesterol uh, tremendously. And we have one more thing here, and we have about 30 seconds. Okay, and, and dark, dark chocolate dark has chocolate. to be 70% chocolate or 70% cocoa or more. One ounce of chocolate, not a whole bar, but one ounce of chocolate every day. And the last thing is green tea. The thing about green tea is it's chock full of antioxidants, very good source of antioxidants. And also the green tea is prepared differently from the dark tea. It's just dried 
and then steamed. It does not have any processing at all, so it is a great way to lower your cholesterol and also provide antioxidants to reduce your risk of cancer. Wonderful. Thank